Hello everyone, so I'm just kind of uh, running through one of my old videos and I just thought I'd give you an update of where I've got to at the moment. So with my Morstan Mansion, as I call it, so I've now got the ability to show uh, that the temperature can update in near real time as the temperature increases. Um, I will put onto my blog at some point, not right in this moment, uh, the full kind of run through of how this all works because it's quite interesting to see on the not only someone demonstrating something working but in terms of how it's all put together. So what I've got is I've got my webcam pointed at my Raspberry Pi on top of a, a heat box that my father made for me uh, and off the back of that as you can just see running off here uh, a temperature sensor which goes inside. I've also got uh, here is a, a wireless um, dongle, uh, well it's in actually a tail stick that is controlling the plug that actually switches this on. Now the reason why I put all that together I wanted to actually show almost from a home automation point of view of how this can actually all be kind of put together in little modules. So uh, please forgive my labelling but I haven't got around to change this but I will do. So if I just want to turn the switch on as you can see the heat lamp comes on and straight away the temperature is now increasing and will do uh, continuously until I turn it off. So that's quite nice, that's all fine. Uh, so we'll just switch that off for the time being. So, and the temperature will then start to cool. Um, as any object will heat, will retain some of the heat, and what you would find is that the temperature would kind of stabilize up and down uh, if you turn it on and off. Which kind of brings me on to what I have done. Um, if I just go into where uh, uh, this is all kept, I've created a little program called Temp Switch. Uh, and what Temp Switch does, it takes a set point which I need to sort out the um, there we go. The the set point for this is set at 35 degrees. So once this hits um, 35 degrees. Um, and half a degree over that so it's 35.5 it will switch off and then when it drops uh, half a degree under 35 degrees so 34.5 it'll switch it back on the reason being is if you was to set this it's um, uh, what we call a hysteresis of, of zero what you would have and I'll actually demonstrate this you will actually have a um, A switch that will switch on and off very rapidly. So if I just go uh, pseudo nano and temp switch. So in here, I've got down here that is if the temperature is plus or minus, oh sorry, plus 0.5 degrees. So let's change that to zero. And I think that's the only one I've got. So essentially with this I'm just turning it, turning it to go on and off. So if I run Python script now, so what will happen that will turn on, which is fine, that's what we expect. The temperature is currently at 27 degrees, 29 and obviously increasing. It will hit 35 degrees. Surely, it doesn't take too long with it being a small box. What you'll do, see is now it's obviously got over 35 degrees. Um, there is a bit of catch up, and the temperature is obviously rising rapidly. But this then will turn on in a second. So, if we just use a method of timing, so Just a slightly patient with this. So there we go. So the switch has just come on. So we heat up. And that took about five seconds to heat up. Then to cool down. Yeah, 
precisely 25, 25 seconds and he took just a couple more. So in that aspect obviously we had, we've had just under a minute uh, the heat, uh, effectively the heating has come on twice uh, come on for a third time in a one minute period maybe just so there we go so it has come on effectively three times in one minute so what I'll do is I'll just stop this now if we just go back to here and what we're going to do and we'll put this code out there for everyone to utilize if we put a hysteresis in there of now five degrees uh, point five degrees so that um, run same again so it's come on so that's Once, so that'll have to go up. So well over a minute for the next time that we had three successive runs. So that kind of gives you a rough idea of hysteresis. However, then refining that to meet your own needs in terms of temperature control environment, it's depending. You can probably have it cut off at a slightly closer rate to the higher temperature, so it doesn't overrun, and then be more uh, refined when it gets down to lower temperature in terms of the heating and cooling rates. Uh, you could be clever enough to then start understanding how the corner rates are working for your said project. So whether it's a, a, a box like this, or whether it's um, you know, a room, or whether it's a particular big heating unit for drying a particular uh, projects if you've got paints. There's all sorts of reasons why you want to have some form of temperature control and be more refined than just a normal thermostat. Uh, you can also then build in schedules for this whether you want it to happen within a certain time so you go into then the realms of uh, growing plants so um, I hope that's been useful I really hope that this is actually recorded correctly because if not I'll do it again another day so thank you very much